here at the VET at the Education Conference at the Lenovo booth. And hello, so who are you? Hi, my name is Brooks Flynn. I'm the global product manager for all of our education notebooks. And what I've got here is our new 300E Chromebook. So this is a MediaTek 8173C. Uh, many of you may recognize it. It's very similar looking to our N23 Yoga, but we've added a very exciting feature this year, which is called Enhanced Touch. Enhanced Touch in the education market lets me take any standard number two pencil and interact with the screen. It's just a pencil. This is just a regular old pencil. I pulled it out of a backpack. But only with pencils because it has a conductive... Uh... Right, so what we've done is we've tuned the IC to be able to recognize the graphite coming close to the screen. What this is, is it, it's not pressure sensitive, it's not a stylus, but it mimics your finger. But it still allows you to do and interact with the screen in an easy way, especially in the education environment. What's this app? Uh, is this, this something included in Chrome OS? No, no, this is just part of the Play Store. I just downloaded my, my script, script from the Play Store. So it's like a cool app that recognizes uh, uh, it's handwriting. A, yeah, it's a popular mathematics app in the U.S. So I just pulled it down here to show the show off the pencil or show off the enhanced touch. So 300E. What does that stand for? Education E. Uh, essentially, yeah. So we have a, a new product naming 100E, 300E, 500E, good, better, best. 100E is our entry level clam, which is an Intel product. 300E is our step up with the enhanced touch, which is MediaTek. 8173C, and our 500E is the best product, yoga, world-facing camera, uh, with an Intel CPU. So, um, can, we, can, we, can we see it? Yeah, it goes sure. in a tent, in tent mode? It goes oh, yeah. all the way around? Yeah, you can, a lot of people like tent mode because it gives you the added support. I can fold it fully over to be a tablet. This is an 11? 11? 11.6 inch HD screen. 1366? 1366 by 768. And. Um, and so the ports, you have here full-size SD card. Do students use this? So yeah, we, we have that typically for transferring video or pictures that students are doing either with a GoPro or some other type of digital camera. A full-size uh, USB uh, Type-A and then a full-size HDMI port and Type-C. So Type-C is how this unit is charged. Can you use for a USB Hub 2? Yeah, yeah US, uh, vid, power video and data coming out of that. And then is on the other side. another USB or no? No, this is a Kensington lock slot. Yeah. And you can see we've got the Kensington lock in there. And we've got our 3.5 combi jack, uh, our volume up and down, and then our power button. So um, it seems uh, built for the kids to drop it. Yeah, so this is totally designed for our education market. You can see you know, we've got a dual injected TPU rubber bumper that wraps around the side. Uh, it does support a 75 centimeter drop. Uh, that's what it's designed to support. Our keyboard supports a 330 milliliter spill resistance. And then what I've got inside, if you look at the keyboard, we actually have anchored keycaps. If you see these tabs on the key extend under the keyboard frame, prevents kids from popping up those keys, losing them or trying to rearrange and spell something uh, inappropriate on the keyboard. So um, Lenovo is famous for making the best keyboards, right? But it's not quite a ThinkPad keyboard. What, how do you define this keyboard? I mean, in terms of defining the keyboard, it's is a it Lenovo. Yeah, so this is. I mean, this is a Lenovo Education Keyboard. Um, you know, it builds off of some of the same uh, technology and design that we've done on our ThinkPads. But you're right; it is not a ThinkPad branded keyboard. Those are reserved for our ThinkPad branded products. And if you look over here, there's a rest of the specs. Uh, no, no, it's not. Ah, it's not quite. No. So what's the RAM? Uh, this is four gig RAM and 32 gigs of eMMC storage. And uh, this is a quad core. Uh, dual A72, Dual A53. Uh, yeah, the MediaTek 8173C. How's the performance in that one? Uh, performance has actually outperformed our expectations and is, you know, neck and neck with some of the competitive uh, CPUs in market. When you check some of the Chrome-based benchmarks that are out there, right? Yes, and it's it, it is it has met all of our customers' demands in terms of performance. And that's probably reliable. It doesn't get hot. Yeah, now, now all of our education products in terms of thermal design are very similar around the four and a half watt range. Uh, four and a half watt? Is that four and a half watt too? Uh, I'm trying be, to remember on the MediaTek. It might be less, right? Maybe. I think MediaTek's four watt, but they're all in that same range, so they're all in the fanless yeah. designs. And uh, you, you don't let people buy it for the enterprise? I mean, I'm joking, but is Yeah, there's no restriction. Education. Yeah, it's mainly designed for education. The primary target market for this is education. Right, so uh, kids uh, up to any age? Yeah, we have all the way up through high school. Can it output in 4K? Uh, I do not believe the MediaTek supports 4K output. All right. And uh, otherwise, uh, it's full, uh, what's called? Um, ten finger touch. Ten finger touch, capacitive. Uh, can you, over there, you have some demos where it's, some of your ThinkPads go in the water and stuff. Is this waterproof? Or? So as I mentioned, it's 330 milliliter spill resistance on the keyboard, but it is not a ThinkPad, so it does not do our ThinkPad stress tests. 
but it, it, it's good for the cold and the heat or yes uh, it, it's, this still passes still six mil spec standards uh, and 12 separate tests cool and uh, so what's the price and what how soon can people buy this uh, the US MSRP is 279 and this product being shipping next month that's a really cool price 279 uh, shipping next month right here is the 300 